Welcome back. What are we on? Episode 4? Dude, check this out. So, you know, we lowered this thing, right? Okay, so I'm looking over what else I can do. Look at this! Like, Stance Boy, Hot Boy, what? This game is wild, man. I'm assuming, obviously, it's going to affect how the car handles. But, oh my, look, look at that. Look, just... That's just, that's crazy. That's, that's really cool. This game's insane. Even the toe, it, it even moves. I definitely want out. We'll see how this thing handles. That's, that's just crazy. That's just, oh, and the other thing, if you go on the gear ratio, like it actually tells you the miles per hour. And if we just start extending this, look how fast we can go. Obviously, our engine's not that powerful, but we can do 285 mile an hour. We're gonna leave that as is for now, but that's just... You have the wing angle, ABS. And we're gonna knock that down just a hair. Uh, traction control, that's fine. Brake balance, that's fine for now. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just crazy. Look at this thing. This game... If if only they would do this on next gen. I don't know if Genki still. I know they did like a phone game or whatever recently. But if they could get their licenses and do this again, just look at just look how sexy this car is. If they brought back the car list from the previous games, you know what? We're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna hopefully race one guy, and then be at the parking area. But I mean, if they could just uh, get back together for old time's sake and do a next gen, think of the power on a PS5 doing a next gen. You could do all the maps previously, plus more, more cars. Have, you already got the groundwork for all this customization. Boy. All right, so here's the deal. Everybody's green. So that means we have to... Um, find a parking area so I'm gonna go do that real quick so I will say before we get to the parking area here that these little adjustments with with the the camber and the toe this thing feels a lot more planted and it's not sliding out as much and it's very like it just feels more responsive it feels good Alright, so here we go. Parking areas, finally. Let's do it, man. What we got? <clears throat> Bloodhound, huh? You want something? Yeah, people call me Bloodhound. I'm considered the fastest racer in the C1 loop at this time of night or something. What's that? You want me to you wanna race me? Knock it off. I'm in no mood for jokes. I mean you can't mean it. I'm not getting any vibes off your car, and I've got things to do. Whatever you may think, I'm sh I sure haven't got time to waste giving driving lessons to newbies. But if you're serious, show me what you can do. You know how, right? Dude, look at that freaking, like, fur around his neck. Oh, he's doing it. Bloodhound is just a legend. All right, so talk to people in PA and collect information, challenge rivals, and then, you know, change your car. So we're in the Shieldome parking area at night. Information. All these? Okay. What do you got to say? My ambition is to join the rolling guys and conquer the metro with my Toyota AE86. I mean, only the best racers could win with an underpowered car, right? I want a rebuilt engine and a full carbon chassis. What's that you say? What do you mean? It wouldn't be the same car anymore. So these are just changing stage, kind of an eyeball team. It's made up of editors of car magazines. So they know lots about driving theory, but aren't really that good behind the wheel, probably because work keeps them from actually getting out on the road very much. And they're also well informed about the state of the Metro, as well as various racing teams that are active there. So these are people I already raced, right? I think we, did we do Drifting Striker? Have you seen Grim Red Point? I was supposed to loan in my notes. I have not. Pink Lily, I know we raced uh, them. I've ashamed my leader by losing to an amateur like you. We'll go at it again one of these times. Do they say different things? Like, if I was to come here before I raced them, they would probably say something different, right? You taught me just how sophisticated the street racing on the Metro is. I wasn't completely blown away, though. You're going down next time we meet. Ooh, jet shaver. <laughs> uh. Does he just not have a, a pinky finger? Is it just, is it like conjoined into his, what is that, index finger? 
I don't know. What are fingers? Phalanges. Uh, <laughs> I could actually graduate at any time. I just don't want to. Seriously, I could. You see? I like it here. In the college car club. I'm going to stay here until the end. All right, man. You just you stay in college, dude. Do your thing. You know about the race team that claims to see one stretch of the Metro as a turf? They race in both directions, so you can pick the one you like best when you race them. Hmm. Uh, do you have a code about the cars you drive? One rule I have is I only drive cars with rotary engines. Now, it's not to rule out other fast cars. Don't get me wrong. I just think it's important to have a personal code. That's all. You need to feel you can trust your racing with a particular car. And besides, it just seems cooler that way. Well, the text got a little weird there. All right, so... No. I forgot this. There we go. Is it just not getting... Is that what it is? I think it's just whatever. Um, ooh, Lonely Wolf. That is a wanderer. We've got um, Perfect Beginner and um, Sweet Monster. Let's see if uh, Lonely Wolf erase us. If you still don't have enough experience, go do some more real world racing and then come talk to me. Sorry, Dad. All right, so we can do yeah, I figured out your car's weaknesses. Prefer, prepare for a beatdown of epic proportions. Go battle. All right, dude. Like, you have the same car as me. So, like, uh, oh. Sour gummy. Worms. How dare you, sir? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. Bop. Yes. See, you, bud. Cover that SP gauge to get to get him. I really would like a giant wing on this thing, but the like that the one wing just uh it just didn't seem big enough. Man, this thing handles so well now. This is great. This is freaking great. And I know a lot of people just like they don't I guess understand how all that stuff works, so they kind of just leave it as is. But when you really start messing with that stuff, it like it has, it's blah, blah, blah. yes. So anyway, um, I don't get it. I thought this was in the bag. Now you're in the bag. All right, let's do another one. Oh, it moved them to the other. Okay. Sweet monster. All right, I've got me an exclusive. If I take you down, the editor-in-chief will have to give me more props. Go battle. Ooh, white. Hi, Rogi. Sweet monster. Hi, Tress. See you, bud. No, no, no. Nailed it. We're flying. We're hauling. Oh, were we kind of drifting there until I counter steered too quickly? Could have probably kept that going. Man, oh man. Oh, they're way back there. Sorry about your uh, feelings, bud. One, oh, we're almost at one bar of boost. We're at like 0.9. See, like, I don't know the conversion ratio because. In uh, America, we use PSI, so like my car runs 15 PSI. I don't know what that is, bars. All right, return to PA. So Lone Wolf won't race us, so that means uh, I guess that's it for night time. So we'll have to go to daybreak or midnight, do some racing. That's next. Uh... Oh, come on. This can't be happening. Don't tell the editor-in-chief that I lost. I don't even know who, who that is. So, we have new information? No. Alright, so, um... We'll see. We'll... Nope. Nobody. Return to garage. Alright, so we've done everything we can. Which is cool. Two wins. 
hundred percent win average uh, corporate worker. We've upgraded our freaking bad name, B A D, bad to the bone, because that's what we are. So, wasn't there? There should be another. Oh, so maybe they'll come out now. Since there wasn't room, I guess we have to go back into it. So let's go to the Shield Dome PA. And they should come out. Can you go? Will that put us right in the parking area? It should, right? Or does it put us outside of it? Because if you can go right to the parking area, that's pretty cool. Yes! Well, there you go. Um, any new information? We got all new information. Um, I don't know. Is anybody going to tell me anything good? The 13 Knights? I, don't, I feel like... I don't... I, I mean, I'll go through them. I'm not going to keep reading them out loud, though. So he was the same guy. Or was it? Yeah, dude, take some rollers. Okay. Okay. Just hang out of parking areas. I don't know if, like, maybe you gotta read these sometimes to, like, get certain wanderers or something unlocked. I don't know. Alright, so, ah, team leader. And then, of course, Lonely Wolf. So I was right. I just had to refresh it for some reason. Okay, that's actually... That S15 looks nice. Let's see what they have to say. You're the one, aren't you? You're the street racer who's been tormenting my writers and editors, right? I'm, I'm just not a big enough sucker to take that kind of treatment lying down. I'm taking you out for the honor of my magazine and my team, and I'll write it up big in next month's issue. Fantastic Phoenix runs riot on C1 Loop. Bring it. Is it going to do like a special... Uh... Might do a special little cutscene intro uh, thingy. I would hope so. If it ever loads. There it is. Here we go. Changing stage. Here we go. There I am. Oh, it's Fat Nastic Phoenix. I, <laughs> the Fat Nastic Phoenix. Stop. I think I feel like that's a typo. It's it should be fantastic, right? That's that's funny. That's actually really really funny. <laughs> Let's go, Fat Nastic Phoenix. <laughs> they definitely switched the T in the end. Definitely. That definitely is not supposed to be a thing. Oh man, good old translations. Oh, this thing handles so. Well. Oh, just kidding. Uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna catch up. Jk, they're pretty far behind. He's super slow. By Fatnastic Phoenix. <laughs> no. Oh, that was a good. That was a good chunk. That was a good chunk. All right, now we're done with this. We're gonna go read them descriptions. Ugh. What do you gotta say, bud? No way, I lost. You're pretty good. Give me a scoop sometime. I'll do a 10 page cover feature on the shooting star of the C1 loop. Pretty good, wouldn't you say? One thing though, the fact that you beat me stays off the record. Never happened. Um, will he fight me now? Nope, not enough experience. Alright, lonely wolf. You're just gonna have to stay lonely, bud. I would like to thank you. One. We've done 20. Sudden Dancer. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because if your friends don't dance and if they don't dance with a Muffler level 3 has become available. Get that fat, nasty muffler. <laughs> Clutch. Changing stage. Alright, so first things first. Here we go. 
Changing Stage. Um, a team comprised of editors and writers of the car magazine Changing Stage. Their vehicles tend to be tuned for general use because the members race outside the Shotoko as well. The team members have flashy driving style and a fancy exterior to appear photogenic for their magazine. Hello? <laughs> Writer. See, Jiro started to write articles at Rising Bear's suggestion. He knows a lot about cars and is fast with words as well. However, his shyness makes him chicken out on corners. Giving his rivals an edge, he had a well-tuned vehicle outfitted with high-quality parts, but wound up passing it on to a friend. Now he's left with a car that has less than impressive performance. Deputy Editor. Let's go, Deputy Hiromichi is a skilled driver, but he is totally hopeless when it comes to computers. He has a PC, but is too proud to ask others for help, so it simply sits on his desk gathering dust. He has his own style of tuning his machine and consequently runs into constant trouble with it. He used to be much faster, but now even the new members, newer members are passing him by and turning on the pressure. Editor. Though new among the editorial staff, his chief editor, see here it says Fantastic Phoenix. But on that said, fat nastic. <laughs> Fantastic Phoenix pulls no punches with him. Suguru's goal is to become a chief editor, and his dedication matches his sensible driving style, but he rarely takes risks that could earn him a better record. He plans to do more in the future, but for now, he has swapped out his car's muffler and put in better brake pads. Pink Lily. Printing company worker. After a tragic loss to Snake Eyes, Kazunari's team broke up, but he kept driving. He now lives together with his young wife and their three-year-old daughter, formerly known for his aggressive driving. He now races with a more defensive strategy. He blocks the enemy until they get frustrated and give up. It seems like the birth of his daughter has softened him up a bit. Well, yeah. He doesn't want to freaking die. Oh, we need to get a set of brides. Photographer. A car fan since his school days, Akira watched other mechanics and was able to learn to turn a cheap car into a racing machine. Akira will not be satisfied until he's fully studied the Metro and knows everything about himself and the competition. <sighs> Dude, same thing as freaking TXR3. Story time makes me sleepy. I even got a freaking energy drink and I'm sleeping. I'm oh, sorry, I did get up at 2 a.m. Anyway, um, yes, he hasn't quite developed his own style yet, but his competitiveness is second to none. Oh, that actually looks good. That actually looks pretty sick. Rising Bear. Writer. A writer with a wide range of interests, including food and movies as well as cars. He got his he got his car from his senior classmate and spent months fixing it by reinforcing it with various used parts. He's created a machine that exceeds the original. This car has a reputation for its tight handling around corners. Don't count this one out, no matter how far ahead its comp competition may seem. And Fat Nastic Phoenix. <laughs> Fat Nastic Editor. <laughs> Yuki Hyde has been in a car since the school days. He's only driven a silver for the past 10 years and knows everything there is to know about the machine. He, lots of spaces, has a wide range of driving abilities and is not limited to the Metro. The illusory Phoenix is known for waiting to catch up in the second half, but Yuki Hyde's temper can kill his chances if he loses it. Alright, so there you go. I guess we'll go to midnight. And then a day break. And uh, yeah, guys, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Come back for more episodes. Um, hold on, what did we get? We got a muffler? Let's do muffler. No, we didn't get engines. We definitely got mufflers. Alright. It's not much. For that much money for three? Ew, no, 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 my friend. We will hold off on that. Not worth it. And we just got the clutch. All right, we're just going to hold off. So, all right, guys, yeah, um, I will see you on the next episode.